Pepperdine Training Center is where the 33 athletes in 2018 went after being diagnosed with a concussion. Assistant Director of Athletics Kevin Wright reveals just how often an athlete comes in their office. Um, almost every week. Um, we, have, we have, like we said, 17 sports, and although not all of them are contact sports, there, there's not a sport that doesn't um, suffer concussion. You know, whether it be a slip and fall accident um, on a, from a, for a golfer or a soccer player getting hit in the head with an elbow. You know, all, all sports suffer, um, suffer from concussions. With the heavy precautions Pepperdine takes to treat a concussion, athletes fear telling their trainers. Pepperdine swimmer Ryan Skinner would put her desire to play over taking the correct medical steps. Well, absolutely. I think, I mean, if I was honestly in season, to be completely honest with you, I probably wouldn't have told my trainers or my coach. Soccer player Laura Ashikwa explains the protocol Pepperdine takes. They take it more seriously, but also they have like actual tests that you have to pass. So you have to take a test on the computer and it analyzes. You take it before you ever have a concussion, then you take it again when you have a concussion. It analyzes like how different it is, like how fast your brain can process that and like how much you've recovered. And while concussions are often discussed regarding male athletes, women's soccer coach Tim Ward breaks that stereotype. In the age of equality here, Women and men are equal. Well, physiologically, that's just not true. I mean, you have to be an idiot to see that. Women generally have less musculature around their neck, and so the nature of hit, getting hit in the head, um, you have these big, beefy football players that have these big old muscles up here, and it holds their neck in place. But in a collision, um, I'm sure you're finding out that a concussion is often the result of a whiplash effect where the brain is actually bouncing off the back of the skull. And so um, muscles help to impede that, I'm not sure if that's the right word, but prevent that whiplash movement. Cranium thickness, you know, some guys have thick heads, you know, but um, de definite different in physiology um, can be attributed to that.